Believe it or not, 15 years of covering CES. CES 2020 is coming to a close. But in case you missed it, let's have another look at all the things we saw in this year's edition of CES. Razer is back and they are expanding their lineup of mobile accessories. Here we have the Razer Kishi, a game controller that's aimed towards not only mobile gaming, but cloud gaming as well. Unlike the Jungle Cap that was previously released, the Kishi allows you to mount virtually any kind of smartphone with its extendable design, capable of mounting up to even a Samsung Note 10 Plus. The Kishi plugs straight into your Android or iPhone for lower latency and hence faster response. An advantage it has over the Jungle Cat is also the inclusion of power pass-through, allowing you to game without worry about your battery. Out from the left field, here comes Sony with a concept car. This here is the Vision S prototype, which Sony says is a glimpse into the future of mobility while combining safety, comfort, entertainment, and adaptability. Cameras and sensors located throughout the vehicle will allow you, the driver or the passenger inside, to be able to view what's important or of imminent attention on the huge panoramic display right on the dashboard. That very same display also offers much in entertainment, working in conjunction with precisely positioned speakers all around the interior, including on each individual seat. You can enjoy movies as if it's your personal theater. One cool trick is that you can also simply swipe the screen to exit full screen mode and have it now on split screen with the movie for the co-passenger and say GPS for the driver. If you're a millennial and you're looking for a TV, well, Samsung has you covered. You're looking at the Samsung Zero, a one-of-a-kind TV that can automatically change the orientation of your TV according to the format of your content. Simply tap your smartphone on the frame on the Zero and it will instantly link both devices. Once that's done, rotate your smartphone and the TV will rotate along with it, giving you the optimal viewing experience. It also has a 4.1 speaker system that's hidden in the elevated stand, giving you great sound. For now, it will be available only in one variant, a 47-inch 4K QLED, and it will cost you around 1600 US dollars. Don't know about you, but despite seeing it last year, we're still impressed by the LG rollable OLED TV. Not much has changed to be honest, just some minor updates here and there, but this time around, there's a new variant which gives the ability to unroll from the ceiling as well. And that display is pretty spectacular. See the magic happen when it rolls up from its base, which also houses the speaker. Or keep it away nice and tidy when you don't use it. It certainly is a really unique piece of engineering and design. The pricing might be a little tough to swallow. It is rumored to cost over 60,000 US dollars. But hey, you get bragging rights. Well, here at CES, BMW is showcasing what they believe will be reality in just the next few years. This is the Zero G Lounger, and it's basically the best experience you can ever have inside a car. Apart from the seat itself, which is really nice and plush, its main trick is the ability to recline up to 60 degrees, giving the maximum amount of comfort ever to be provided inside a car. But even when fully reclined, you still have access to entertainment with a built-in screen in the headliner, which also allows you to view directional and critical information about your journey. But despite this extreme angle, BMW also took care of safety. The seat belt is integrated into the seat, which prevents submarining in the event of a crash, while airbags hidden in the sides deploy as well, wrapping around you to further increase safety. Well, we talked all about cars, now it's time to talk about the other side of the equation, a smart transportation ecosystem, Panasonic calls it Cirrus. Statistics show that by 2022, there will be 105 million connected cars, and the amount of data generated by vehicle to everything is roughly 20 terabytes per hour, and up to 150 petabytes per year. That amount of data needs to be managed smartly, and this is what the Cirrus is all about. 
This will allow roadway operators to be able to harness the amount of traffic data from both vehicles and traffic systems to improve roadway safety and increase efficiency, while also leading to better management and performance of autonomous vehicles on the road. Sounds too big for you? Well, don't be. Just note that with such systems in place in the future, you'll be able to enjoy a much safer and reliable commute, no matter your mode of transport. Folds are really the rage this past year, especially looking at the smartphone industry. But here on the PC side of things, Lenovo has the world's first foldable PC, the ThinkPad X1 Fold. Lenovo showed this off last year, but that was just a prototype. Now it's finally going to be available sometime this year. Display-wise, you're looking at a 13.3-inch OLED panel with a resolution of 2048 by 1536 in a 4x3 aspect ratio. When fully unfolded, there is a slight crease that can be seen, but pretty much hard to notice during actual use. With such a device, you can use it however you want, fully opened up like a tablet, half closed like reading a book, or even like a traditional laptop, with the option to pull up an on-screen keyboard or use a magnetic Bluetooth keyboard, which snaps to the bottom half of the display. Hardware-wise, it's not all confirmed at the moment, though it is definitely running the full version of Windows. The X1 Fold will ship in the latter part of this year, and pricing will start at about 2,500 US dollars. In 15 years, I've seen innovation change, and it changes faster and faster and faster as we go along. This year, it's all about the smart connected car. What are we gonna see next year? Will I be here? Maybe. I'll see you at CES 2021. You're streaming Tech360.tv from Las Vegas.